Hello everybody, Chris Rivera here, and we're back with more local and other stuff. We challenged you to find another ramen bar with vegan options to the princess, and you did it near downtown. Next time, closer to Disney. Please? This one um, on this beautiful rainy day is right next to SoCo, which is a restaurant that I absolutely love, so I'm excited for this restaurant. So let's go chuck on some vegetables. We should have ramen. You heard the girl. The music was a little loud here in the restaurant and completely copyrighted, so welcome to the voiceover. Here we have a beautiful house sake that we got. Nice and hot. I always have a problem with spilling. A shame. 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 Now this is how you pour the right way. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. The sake was smooth, warm, light, extremely dangerous, went down so well. I would give that a four out of five rices. It is so good. Now that the princess has poured one out for the homies, cheers to the sake bottle. Down she goes. Nice and warm, court in the throat, which your soul needs. Lip smackingly good. Three out of five claws. Here we have a beautiful crispy rice. It is vegan, topped with guacamole, and it has a small tomato on each individual one with a little bit of cilantro on top. This crispy rice is seasoned to perfection. The guac is very very flavorful. You take that with the tomato and it's just this beautiful combination with the rice. It mixes so well with the tomatoes on top. You're not missing anything. You're not missing meat at all. This is definitely something that I would want to make at home or for you guys to try to make at home. It's a five out of five for me, for sure. Five out of five guacamoles, that is a win. This is definitely an interesting looking thing, sort of like an Asian take on avocado toast. It's delicious looking nugget, just slide this whole thing in my mouth, but it was not what I was expecting, like an interesting crisp, like I thought it was going to be like hard rice all the way through, but it was like crisp outside, soft inside, like a delicious looking morsel, and definitely makes sense why it's a chef special. Super solid. Would recommend four out of five claws. Just so you can see what a beautiful crispy innard looks like on this rice. Just gonna cut it open. All that beautiful steamed rice in there. It's an absolute treat for me. Anytime I can get takoyaki, I haven't had it. These like fried squid balls since our last trip to New York. It's like pure joy on a toothpick for me. Like it's lightly fried, not heavily breaded. It's super hot temperature wise, but like if you have a problem with textures, you can feel the suckers as you're chewing it, so I'd avoid this. But for me, anytime I can get this is a must. Absolute five out of five claws, bare necessity. I guess we're tearing apart food now because this is what we do. You can see the inside, it's just, it's like a mash, deep fried stuff. So. Super tasty. 
No regrets, though. I'm sorry, vegans. It's just too tasty to say no to. And the plates sort of, like, perfectly feel this, like, upscale, sort of hipster-style ramen bar. It's sort of like a South Park-style soda sopa area. But, like, these plates, they, they fit the restaurant, definitely. I uh, definitely inhaled this whole plate. Didn't feel bad about it at all. This is the Impossible Bun. It is a patty made with impossible meat, guacamole, the same guacamole that was on that crispy rice appetizer. Then there's a cucumber on there with vegan mayo. I have not had as many bows as Bear has been able to just because the vegan options are not as plentiful. So I am super excited to be able to have one this time. There's only one other Local Eats video that we've done where we've been able to get a bow. The impossible meat in this has its own custom seasonings. It tastes throughout. You can absolutely taste that it's not your traditional impossible meat. They didn't just throw it together and make it a patty. They seasoned it beautifully. It's a little bit over sauce with what's in it, but it is absolutely delicious. I would give it five out of five bows. Just a little thing here. I'm starting to feel like bows are approaching the superior form of Asian taco. Uh, it looks like a, like two pieces of a patty, but I'm interested in the guacamole. I've never had guacamole in a bow before. But I love the willingness to like bend rules to make something new and unique. And that flavor was like a punch in the face. I was definitely impressed. All the flavors, the guac, everything worked well together. So it was definite four out of five claws for me. So of course I had to get something that felt more like a sister to the impossible. But we like to do like, you know, yin and yang here. Get this delicious piece of pork belly with some slaw and some lettuce, little pickled cucumbers, and some sauce. This one was a, a lot thicker than the Impossible, but still inviting. Nice big bite, bear bite. The pork belly was okay. It's not the best pork belly I've had. I've had better pork belly at Disney, which is surprising to me in a place that specializes in it. Uh, the flavors are definitely there. I would definitely order another one, but I thought the princesses was better. I guess it's a three out of five claws. This is the ramen bowl that I got. There's actually more than one, had quite a few options. I decided to go with the spicy, creamy vegan ramen. You can also just get it as a vegan ramen without the spice. It is a vegetable broth with tofu, onion, green on onion, kikaranji, I think I said that right. Let me know in the comments if I didn't. Crispy onion, garlic chips, garlic oil, chili oil, sesame seeds, and a nice amount of thick noodles. My first bite into that was absolutely straight chili oil. Then I thought it would be smart to go ahead and try the broth again. You definitely need a lot of water for that one. Overall, as I was eating through the ramen, it just got more and more spicy, which is good. I liked it. I was trying to sweat. Oof, it was spicy. That chili oil just really gets you in the back of the throat. I'm pretty sure these first two steps were just straight chili oil. 
but the broth itself is nice. You can ask it without the chili oil, but it is good. It was a lot better once you mixed everything together. The, so the tofu was extra soft. It wasn't really seasoned at all. I, I loved the little crunchy seaweeds, though this one wasn't really crunchy. It made an amazing bowl of ramen. The noodles were nice and thick, thicker than domu. I kind of struggled with eating it, but I really enjoyed it. I have to say that Domu still wins the noodle game and the ramen bowl game, but this place does win for their sides. I would give this three out of five ramen noodles. I was excited to try new plant-based ramen. It's something that's so easy to adjust if you put some care and time into it and just the way the broth looks because remember as i've always said anytime we tried ramen the broth is king if the broth is trash we go ahead and throw the whole bowl can't save it in this case the broth was super creamy while being plant-based which was a surprise to me get the broth on its own of four out of five claws just makes me more excited to get this all in the spoon and get like a big mouthful there's a lot going on here trying to get it all in the spoon even i struggled a bit I don't know if it was the thickness of the noodles, but I eventually got it. Gotta give her that slurp. Out of respect, come on, there we go. It's so surprisingly savory. And to be able to accomplish that, and with the tofu, it's, it, I would say it's the best ramen I've ever have, but like that was definitely flavorful and solid. Here's the bowl I ordered, it was another chef special, the red garnet, with pork katsu, green onions, uh, some regular onions, you had a side of curry, fried curry with it, uh, and a lot of chili garlic sauce. Uh, the thick noodles definitely make this place unique, these like two pieces of like super fried thick curry were just begging to be dropped in the bowl. This is definitely a bowl I consider to be so pretty I didn't even know where to start, but definitely just dropping that in there, trying to like soak it. I want like the full experience, but it's like, how do I eat this? <laughs> I want the I want the chicken, I want the pork, the noodles covered in the chili oil. I thought it was gonna be super spicy, so I'm just like, give it a good mix. Let the people see it. Get all up in there. Just go ahead and start loading up on the spoon, some katsu, some noodles, that like green onion, that chili oil in there. And then I tried to put this like, dunk it, and then I was like, I was going to put it on top of the spoon. Forgot to check the broth. Passes the broth test. This whole thing was like a puzzle. And I don't know if I enjoy puzzles when it comes to rum. I just kind of want to eat. Broth on its own gets a four out of five claws. This was not going to work. But I got most of it. And then a bite of like the stoked chicken. Get the full flavor of like the chef special. I feel like it should have come with instructions. But all in all with the flavors, the punch, it definitely was like maybe like a 3 out of 10 on the spice scale. I was hoping for like higher than a 5. But it's definitely like a curious combination of like fried chicken and pork katsu. Enough to give it a three and a half out of five claws. Uh, n I would say not as good as the princesses, but still a solid bowl of ramen. It was worth the try.
So, we just finished at Jinya Ramen. All their food was amazing. Yeah. I want to go try more of their vegan options. Yes. It was so good. The spiciness was like, it was crazy spicy. The bao was amazing. Their broth was good. I thought the service was great. I would say the appetizers and like the, the tapas here are Killed better. It. Killed but it. But like the ramen is better at Domo. It is. It is. I definitely will be willing to come back here and try some other things on the menu. There was no way in the world we could eat and everything we wanted no, to. definitely And it's not. definitely worth coming back. Uh, yeah. The sake, the plum wine was great. Everything was good. Next time, like I said, closer to the theme parks. Yes, please. Thank you. But I definitely thank you guys for the suggestion. Uh, if you have any more ramen or otherwise, of course, the comments in the place, let us know. We hit definitely that... want to know. We're obviously going to go. Yes, we are. But hit that notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. Oh, we'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. And like this video so that we can continue to do the local eats and enjoy the ramens and do all of the things. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel and hit the notification button so that we know that we should continue to do these things. Ignore the echo.